everything okay down there? Oh, yeah, that's a party. Here's the icing on the cake. that come with training and experience had something to do with it, but that is only the icing on the cake. You are present period of time. Well, you're really getting into this, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. The icing on the cake would be getting that landmark status from the city. We're hoping Lloyd Braun can pull a few strings. Oh, can Lloyd really do... ...seed so the convoys will stop and the Klingons can move in on the Pentath system. As humans would say, that would be icing on the cake. I wouldn't try it. You, tell me about your mother. Sure, I'll tell you. Stealing all that money and running off, that was just the icing on the cake. When Ansel got cancer, her way of coping. It's money in the bank. The future, Jane. That's what I'm thinking about. Screw and Dennis Abbott. That's just icing on the cake. Won't work. We'll see. Yes, we will. Worry about her. But, you know, you could make his last day a happy one. And a ring is just the icing on the cake. What ring? The ring that'll get me out of this lousy search. Unexpected, Mr. Caffrey. Icing on the cake. Bianca Estevarina is on the cutting edge of technology. What are we talking? Each shipment contains as much as $500 million. And the icing on the cake. The cash is clean. Completely untraceable. Icing on the cake. When good things happen, and followed by something better, you feel extremely thrilled. It feels like you have gotten a bonus. The idiom. Icing on the cake basically means, something good is added to good, that already exists, or something bad is added to bad, making it even worse. Cake is good, and you should be happy with just the cake. But, if you get icing on the cake, that makes it much better. When something is said to be the icing on the cake, it generally refers to added benefit, that makes the already obtained outcome, arrangement, or a deal, a whole, lot nicer. This idiom, can be used in the negative sense as well. When one bad thing happens, and another bad thing happens on top of it, the second bad thing, is the icing on the cake. Okay, now that you know what this idiom means, let's take a look at some example sentences, to see how you can use it in your daily conversation. Example 1 Going down on his knees to propose marriage to Kathy, was the icing on the cake. Example 2 Receiving the best student award from her favorite professor, was the icing on the cake for Michelle. Example 3 The young couple, got a fully furnished house in their budget. It was icing on the cake. going on? Well, I'm not sure, but I think Maxine had a slave. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. But Brie could. You see, for her, the proof was in the pudding. Meaning of the English idiom, the proof is in the pudding. Also used, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. The proof is in the pudding means that the real results of something can only be judged by actual experience or results rather than by theory or appearance. Usage of idiom. This idiom allows many variations in form such as the proof of the pudding will be, the proof of the pudding can be seen, or the proof of the pudding has to be. The expression tends to be used in business more often than other circumstances. Examples of use. This car doesn't look very powerful, but the proof is in the pudding.
Hello? Okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I, I know, I'm gonna go to call. Come in here. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I might be able to do it on my way home. It looks like you've been up more than you can chew, hair, huh, David? Uh, you reckon? Maybe. Sorry. Yeah, I, hang on. Morning guys! Hey Kevin, how are you buddy? Haven't seen you here for a few days. Yeah, I couldn't come to work for three days because I was sick. <coughs> but I'm feeling much better now. I'm back on my feet. They're telling people we're descended from a pack of apes, even though there's nothing about it in the Bible. Ned, you've got to take this thing with a grain of salt. I mean, <laughs> come on. Tim, this controversy could put more meat in, in the same direction. Jake's or habits of behavior either finds dislikable and the other got to be overlooked or taken with a grain of salt. Would your bona fides extend to Mrs. Garrett's future safety? We've got a hundred. That sniper guy said he got 255 all by his lonesome. But, you know, take that grain of salt since he was a seal. Look, top. He's got next to no blood. That's all I can say about it. We'll have to talk to Bannerman. As long as you take what he says to you with a grain of salt, we're not friends. One of these were. A judge and a jury. You really believe that? Yes, I do. Really? I just assumed you took that judge and jury stuff with a grain of salt. Well, you assumed wrong. No salt. A judge and a jury. You really believe that? Yes, I do. Really? I just assumed you took that judge and jury stuff with a grain of salt. Well, you assumed wrong. No salt. This woman's always been an odd bird, a sea of negativity. Even as a kid, we all learned to take her ratings with a grain of salt. But you also said the sun was unstable. I was... I think I know Mulder as much as anybody. Yeah, probably so. I always took the rumors with a grain of salt. What rumors are those? Well, you know. Go. Yeah, Shane told me you were a hot ass. Well, uh, Shane says a lot of stuff. You just gotta take it all with a grain of salt. Was he lying about his dance? How are things, Tina? Well, as always, too much work. Don't you have a new colleague? I do, indeed. But she is my boss wife. This means that she cherry picks all the best tasks. Cherry picking? Cherry picking means that somebody chooses the best things in an unfair way. Like my new colleague, she only does the easy and interesting work. But what can I do?
I'm afraid there isn't much you can do. Either you marry a manager or you become the boss yourself. And how do I become the boss? Why don't you become a freelancer? Then you can be your own boss. But I suppose a freelancer cannot cherry pick work either. Um. Kim, hey, I have some friends visiting me next week, and I'll be bringing them to the museum. Would you like to join us? Oh, I've never been to the museum. Yes, I'll go with you guys. Hey, Kim, I've got two free tickets to go watch a football match this Saturday afternoon. Want to come with me? It's free. Football? Oh, um, I don't really like football. And it's gonna be too hot. Thanks, but sorry, it's not my cup of tea. It is to make matters worse. To make matters worse. This refers to something that makes a situation more complicated, difficult or even unpleasant. This is pretty similar to two other expressions that you might have heard of. They are to rub salt in the wound or to add insult to injury. Now, let's have a look at an example. Marine. I had the most embarrassing experience of my life today. I fell on my face in the middle of a restaurant. Everybody was looking at me. Oh no, that's terribly embarrassing. Yeah, right? And to make matters worse? Ryan Reynolds was there. <laughs> Anna, you look worried. What's up? Today is my beekeeping test. I have to pass if I want to be a professional beekeeper. Don't worry about it. You're a sharp cookie. I'm sure you'll do fine. Thanks. I just hope I don't have to touch any real bees. How was the exam? Piece of cake. You were a world famous wrestler? Spill the beans, old man. Where's the boy? Oh. Spill the beans or I'll spill your blood.
So person A says, I'm in a pickle. Person B says, Why? What happened? Person A replies, My car just broke down on the motorway. Person B says, Oh no, where are you now? Okay, so the expression to be in a pickle does not just mean food. So usually pickle is a vegetable that is soaked in vinegar and it's usually kept in a jar. However, the meaning comes from being stuck in a situation. It means to be in a difficult situation. Did you like that book I gave you to read? Did you finish it? Oh yeah, no, I loved it. It really gave me food for thought. I learned so much about gambling. Walking on eggshells. I want you to imagine that you're this guy here and you're walking on an egg. You have to walk really carefully, right? Otherwise, the egg is gonna break, right? So walking on eggshells means that you have to be very careful with your words or actions. Otherwise, something really bad is going to happen. Right, let's look at an example. I feel so bad for him. He's always walking on eggshells around his wife. Okay, let's say your wife or your girlfriend gets angry really quick and you have to sort of walk really carefully. You have to, everything you say, everything you do has to be very careful. Otherwise, she's gonna snap. Hey, I told you to do that. Why aren't you doing that? Okay, so this guy has to walk really carefully around his wife, otherwise she's gonna get angry. So that's why he has to walk on eggshells. Let's look at another example. He's been walking on eggshells ever since his boss threatened to fire him. Okay, so his boss threatened him, said, if you make that mistake one more time, I'm gonna fire you. Right, so he has to be walking on eggshells, really careful. Everything he does at work, everything he says, has to be very careful, otherwise something bad is going to happen. He's going to lose his job, and he doesn't want to lose his job, so he has to walk on eggshells. Okay, we have a very similar expression in English, uh, walking on thin ice. Now, it means the same thing, right? So here we have some ice, and it's very thin. If it breaks, and you go through the ice, it's gonna be bad, right? You might get eaten by a big fish or something. All right, so let's look at an example. He's made the same mistake three times. He's walking on thin ice, all right? So let's say you're at work and your boss tells you to do something and you do it wrong. And then your boss tells you again and you do it wrong. And he tells you again and you do it wrong. Well, he, he's probably going to fire you, right? Because you're not doing your job properly. So, he's made the same mistake three times. He's walking on very thin ice. Level, did you really not know that? I haven't exactly taken it to the next level with my dad. What are you talking about? We've been married for 16 years and you still walk on eggshells around him. What? He's right now, no sugar coating. My sister here seems to think you all have to walk on eggshells around me. Eggshells? Do you all think I'm so fragile you can't tell me things for fear of how I will react? Which forces me and people like me to police ourselves. We quiet ourselves. We walk on eggshells. We maybe pull over to the side of the road under the brightest light we can find so that our